So for today, we're going to be looking at the last week for seasonal challenges. If you guys don't know, uh, week 10 is usually the last of the seasonal challenges and we only have four. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Let's just get into it. So ultimate defiance, defeat combatants with supers and defiant battleground playlist. Bonus progress awarded if you also have the strands of class equip. Not hard. Just use your super and use your strand super. That's pretty, pretty much it. Favored liberator. Generate favors in seasonal activities. All members of your current fire team contribute to overall progress. This one's annoying, but not hard considering it counts for all the fire team. So not just one person, which is pretty, pretty good. Define Vanguard ornament. Acquire the Vanguard ornament for ecliptic distaff. Um, I'm going to say this is not hard, more just more tedious because uh, I think Vanguard's like the worst one to grind personally. I just don't like doing strikes and nightfalls get boring after like two or three runs. Europa activities on Europa earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. Not hard at all. I would most likely just do a combination of patrols and lost sectors. And if there's a public event up, then do that. And bounties, Europa has a, a lot more bounties than other planets. So just do bounties as well. So this one, yeah, this is crazy. Um, cause, uh, I need to get, I need to work on some of these. As you guys can see, I was like first three weeks, I was like really into it. And then I started going out. And then these are just like, I've not been doing dick. So I need to get started on that. Just to quickly show you guys, this is the shader she's selling or the whatever the fuck it's called. It's a really good black and red, unfortunately. I say unfortunately, cause like I'm not gonna get it because I'm not spending money on the upgrade event when I already spend money just to get this stupid fucking armor. Um, this one right here, which we will make a video reviewing this one and this one, cause I didn't get this one last year. So. If you guys are interested, I'm going to be making videos on this. I'm thinking about making a video on the contender stuff as well, just because this one's this one was super cool. Definitely not the competitive spirit stuff. That shit sucked ass. Uh, for the for the for, for Eververse Byzantium Lotus is what she's selling, which is interesting. Definitely a cool shader. Um, just not. Mm, I shouldn't say that. I was going to say I'm not the fan of purple of this purple, but I've used this purple before, so it's pretty cool. Up for grabs is I think is that the off color? Because if that's the either way, this is a pretty cool, really good shader. It's a white and red, yellow as well. Don't remember the yellow being there, but I do remember the white and red. This is the shader I use on my Vex look for my warlock. More specifically, uh, for the bond, but it turns the bond white and red. Um, we have the transmit. This one's actually pretty funny considering it's like the '80s vibe. Funny, we got free throw, which is literally what it is. Yep, that was a bad one. Stand on ceremony, yeah. And then at the bottom stuff we have class of its class of its own, which is just a shader difference. Uh, Stygian Corsair. Yeah, ship's not that great. Uh, we have Shadow Box, which also not that great i like i like that though yeah that's pretty cool we have sponsored shell some of the vanguards right there even though well, whatever uh we have low score which is funny and then represent which is i thought i had this one i could have sworn i had that one i'm not buying it i'm poor right now um only the finest i'm not gonna like that reef made which is not a great shader i mean it looks cool here but usually i'm not the biggest fan of this shader we have rivalry black sand this is a good shader i like the shader a lot uh it's a really cool like dark black blue i don't know this color with a white and then the glows also are super cool definitely like that shader a lot we have verdant crown which is that's funny that they're selling it here because i think guardian games replaced this event which was uh, the revelry Another Revel Shader, uh, Red and Chrome. This is a pretty cool one as well. So let me know what you guys think. I am uh, working on these videos right here. I just I just recorded the shaders and the looks. So I'm just going to be doing the voiceover in a bit. I oh, mean, it's so unfortunate that like this is not worth it. Like at all for me. Um, I, this is pretty cool. I don't care about this. Man, if you know what it is, and I want to make a video on this, if sparrows held the same amount of weight that mounts did in other MMOs, I feel like sparrows would be worth it, but because they're not, 
it's just yeah it's the i guess it's the culture behind the actual game itself but like sparrows don't mean dick in this game which is very unfortunate so let me know what you guys think in the comments below ken so just to give you a quick rundown of what we're going to be doing all right we're going to be overviewing this armor which is from last year we're going to be overviewing the armor for this year which is this one right here um i have i have a lot a lot of more positive things to say about this one than i would have but um just just know that this exists for all, most of the classes so that's very unfortunate but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below i appreciate you guys coming up to this point be safe and i'll see you guys later